We're going to be taking a look at some of the information covered in our ChatGPT course for project managers. Now, right here, we've got a big old spreadsheet. It's got so many lines of information, so many rows and columns. It's got Dunn's numbers in here. It's got locations. And when you have a spreadsheet like this, sometimes you just need a little bit of help in doing the analysis. So we're going to go into ChatGPT and we are going to analyze this spreadsheet. So what I'm going to do is take a CSV version of this spreadsheet. I am going to put it in to GPT and I'm going to say analyze this data as best possible. No need to regurgitate. I'm going to hit an enter and it's going to think it's taken all this from the US Army Corps of Engineers contractor database, which is public information. And now it is analyzing, it's telling us what it's all about. And it's breaking down the fields, as you can see. Now, if a human was doing this, it would obviously take that human a significant amount of time for it to analyze all the fields, to even understand what the document is all about. But here you have it, ChatGPT analyzing this document for you. Now, to go a step further, we can ask ChatGPT to analyze specific fields and group in by category. So what it's doing of its own accord is performing a more detailed analysis of the data. It's going to examine the number of unique companies, the distribution of the firms by state, distribution of the firms by NAICS codes, and so on. Now it's working, and we can show the analysis by clicking on that. And if you scroll down, you can see some further details about the information, and it's presented it down here in a more legible way. There's 692 unique companies in the data set, 47 in Florida, 37 in Virginia. Those are the highest states, the most common primary code as far as what these firms can do service-wise is 236220. So, I mean, I could even ask it if I don't know what 236220 is, I can ask ChatGPT, what is the code and it's going to return an answer. It says this is for commercial and institutional building construction, which makes sense with the Army Corps of Engineers. And this is just a tiny little bit of the stuff that I'm going to be covering with you in my AI for Project Managers. The AI for Project Managers course, you can get it at ai.hybridprojectmanagement.com. I'm going to break down how to apply AI to project management so that your time taken to perform tasks like that data analysis will be cut in half. I had a task that would take me 24 hours to do because of AI. That task now takes me minutes. So going down to ai.hybridprojectmanagement.com, I'm going to be breaking down AI, chat GPT, even mid journey and barred. By the time we're done, you will feel more in control of AI and you will understand how to harness it across all the processes and all the process groups and even Agile. Whether you are a product owner, a scrum master, or a developer, you have a place in this course. So go on down to ai.hybridprojectmanagement.com and let's get rolling to master AI for your success.